Uh, my name's Lee Martin. I'm from down the bayou. Uh, uh, I did a talk last year called Appetite from Components. Did anyone see this talk? I went through like a big list of websites. Um, uh, what do I say about myself? I work for a bunch of cool companies, but nowadays all I do is build websites for rock bands and get paid in sex and drugs. Okay, today's project is uh, actually a New Orleans native artist. Her name is Ombre, um, and uh, she had a new single come out around Valentine's Day, and it was called Lost Without You. This is a cover of a Robin Thicke song. And like all client projects, it typically, oh wait, I got this slide from Justin. Um, like all client projects, it typically comes through with an email. I had a client who had an artist, Ombre, who had this song for Valentine's Day, and they were thinking about the idea of losing one and lost things and lost loves and how they could potentially use AirTags and the Find My app on iOS to kind of integrate that into an experimental marketing campaign. Um, and I was like, oh, no, not a native app. Let's not do that. Let's, um, I like the idea. This is a great client prompt for exciting ideas. But I was like, you know what we should do? We should just clone the app. We should just build it on the web. So I say like, yeah, you know, I'm always looking for reasons to parody a user experience because the cool thing about that is users understand pre-existing user experiences. And if you parody it, you can just kind of add your spin on it. So I started spitballing ideas, air love, love tags. And three minutes later, find my love. That was the right idea. I looked up the domain name, findmylove.app, sent it off to the client, boom, I'm a genius. Again, I haven't built anything yet. Um, I designed the icon and then I wrote a proposal and I sent it off and two weeks later we had approval. So let's look at the actual app. This is the Find My app. There's like a little panel. It goes up, it goes to a middle position, it goes to the bottom. There's tabs at the bottom, people, devices, items. And you can share your location and your compass to kind of like navigate yourself around and it'll sort of say where objects are. And then you can click on any item and click Find Nearby and it will actually sort of like uh, position you towards that item. So this is the application that uh, Apple and their engineers have constructed that lives on the iOS app. I even think they added a feature recently where you can find people in spaces like this, like conferences, if you're trying to find somebody. So sort of an internal proximity. It's extremely sophisticated, but all we're going to do is fake it um, on the web with Nux in view. Actually, we're going to use React. Just kidding. We are going to use Vue and Nuxt. Okay, so Vue and Nuxt and Netlify, because I'm a Netlify friend. That's where we're going to host it. Uh, we're going to use Mapbox uh, as sort of the map provider. But not only as like a visual layer, Mapbox has a GL library that allows all the inter interactions to occur as well. So like when I click on an item in a list, it should zoom into that item on the map and kind of zoom back out or even like fit the bounds of items that are all being displayed at once. So the map is always on the screen. Mapbox is great at that stuff. Contentful is used so the client has control over managing which items are added. And if some of those items, in the case of this project, uh, Ombre was hiding like merch and records all around the um, world and actually around the city. And if someone found them, the client should have the ability to remove that object once it was found. Um, Tailwind, and honestly, a magnifying glass in Figma, while I was trying to like recreate all of the font sizes and spacings of the native app, I'm sure there was a better way to do it, but I just did it the old school way by counting pixels um, and making my font sizes perfect. Uh, the geolocation API, which is a native API of the browsers, to get a user's location with a prompt, device orientation that gives us their compass reading, and then Mapbox has a little utility, a little utility library called Turf that has um, specialty functions like bounds, heading, bearing, distance, so we can 
produce all of the distances and directions from my user to those objects, kind of in a real-time manner. And then I'm sure you saw those swipeable menus, which is kind of the big fear here. How are we gonna pull off that gesture to make it feel native? I actually went to an old library called Hammer that just tracks sort of like user gestures, um, swipes, and they have some like velocity readings. You can pass those to GreenSock, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, to sort of start to make those animations can um, occur. And finally, a web application manifest, um, which you just provide a couple of icons in standalone mode, and users can then install that application onto their home screen and fire it up like a native app. Any questions? Okay, demo. That's it. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, thank you. I do love that app. And as I did last year, if everyone would like to see something that no one's ever seen, I'm happy to show you without explanation. That's it, that's my talk. <laughs>